What's up guys? Welcome to my top 10 favorite servers video. So before we actually get into the video, I want to give you guys a little disclaimer. Um, one, this is completely based off of my own opinions. These are servers that I enjoyed and spent time on. This isn't based off of like what servers I think are the are coded the best or anything like that. Um, this is just my own personal opinion based off the servers I've played. Most of these servers don't actually exist anymore. They're, they're closed, so keep that in mind. And the second thing I'd like to mention is that I was not paid for this video. Unlike some other YouTubers who have been uploading top 10s or top 5s, I was not paid for this video this is just a fun a video for fun and all these are based off my own opinions so hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and let's get to it number 10 the old mopar servers so this isn't about any one specific server this is about all the old servers i used to play back in 2007 and 2008 um, so when I started playing, playing private servers, it was in 2007, right after God Swords came out. I was in a clan, and uh, I was on the forums, and somebody in our clan had a uh, private server, and he had God Swords on it. I thought that that was so cool, and I spent days trying to figure out how to play private servers. And um, after a little while, I figured out about Moparscape. And so what, what Moparscape was, is it was this website back in the day, and I'm sure it still exists now, so you, you probably know of it. But uh, they had this client that you could access through their website, and um, it looked sort of like this. And what you could do is you could type in the IP for the server, and um, there was a list of a bunch of different IPs. So what I would do is I would look at the list, start at the top, top of one more popular, and I would just put in all the IPs until the server would work, because back in those days, there wasn't really like 24-7 type servers. And... Um, yeah, so I, I would just find a bunch that played, and they were really fun. They were very dumb and silly, and you could max out in, like, an hour, but they, had, they were just so crazy and fun. Um, they kind of reminded me of the old Silab Garza servers. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, here's kind of a picture of what they used to look like, and here's another one right here. Remember these old little thingies like that? So... Uh, big fan of those servers. I don't really remember any names to, to really give a specific one, but that's that's number 10. Number 9, RS Rev. So RS Rev is a, a very simple server. It kind of it, it earns the spot mostly because it was the first server I really spent a good amount of time on. Um, so RS Rev will give you a little idea of how it worked. It was essentially a Deltascape leech with... Um, you know, a couple changes here and there, but I just had so much fun on it. I really liked the community. Um, I was a big PKer back in 2007 and 2008, and this server was it was a good PK server. Um, here you have me with the uh, owner doing a nice little RS Rev rules. You got to keep in mind this was um, back in 2008. I have this picture on the forums, and uh, I think it's kind of cute. Uh, so I said I won't be on for a while. I got grounded because of my dumbass sister, and this was September 10th, 2008. So, yeah, eight years ago, how old would I have been? 14? Mm, yeah. So I guess I'm not that young. I'm just retarded. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just kind of funny to see this picture. The website is actually still up. Um, I think it's rsrev.org or something along those lines. And, uh, yeah, the server was pretty cool. This is one, one of the shops. So you can imagine it was um, definitely a good PK server. You could pretty much buy everything you needed. And uh, I think it was the first server I was ever really close to owning and being a helper. Um I was uh, one of the you know one of the better helpers on that server, and I was almost mod, um, and then the server closed down. And at one point, I was going to run it. I did uh, you know I was good friends with the owner, and um, I was going to run it, but it didn't end up happening. They uh, they changed their minds or something like that. But uh, this really kind of got me interested in owning my own server. I never really thought about it at that point. And then I also have another picture. This was for a costume contest. Don't I look adorable? Number eight. Battlescape. So Battlescape was a pretty cool server that I played. I actually played it right before I started playing Soul Split. And uh, Battlescape has had many different versions, and it might even still be out now. I'm not entirely sure. The version I'm specifically talking about is the one I played right before Soul Split. This was around 2011, 2012, and um, it only had like I think like 13 skills you could train. Like the un most of the um, skilling ones didn't work. I think like thieving and woodcutting and a few others worked, and it was mostly PKing and, and PVM. And uh, it was the version that had the zombie mini game, and that was how you you got chaotic. And it took like five hours or something like that to get a chaotic, and I ended up having like three or four. It was um, such a good server. It was really well done. There was no problems. The economy on that server was also really good. If you you know PKed someone, you almost always got. Um, a decent amount of value. Uh, this uh, picture isn't the exact version I played, but um, one of the things I always liked about it was the way that the uh, the whips and the furies looked. With the uh, whip looking similar to this, and then the fury looked a little bit like that. 
But uh, yeah, I just really like the old feel of Battlescape. I think it had a really nice feel to it. I, I believe Battlescape did come out with an old school version, but I have no clue if they're still out. Number seven, Creativescape. So Creativescape is a uh, server you guys have probably seen because I actually did do a lot of videos from it. And you can probably tell by the from this little pug picture down in the bottom, this was taken from my YouTube channel. So Creativescape was a very interesting server. At the time, most servers were similar to SoulSplit where they had, you know, Torvald and all that, and this was really one of the old, only servers like it. It was old school before old school was really, like, popular, and, um, and it, it was really old school with 2006. Um, a lot of the content on here was really unique. Um, the way Bandos was done, Dagonoth Kings was pretty interesting. Um, it was a really fun server. One of the things I didn't like about it was the fact that it was kind of slow. And uh, there was really no way to train the slow skills. Uh, I was doing a road to max. I don't think I ever finished it because I just really did not want to do smithing. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty good server. I really like the way it, you know the feel it had. And um, if you look at a lot of the more popular videos on my YouTube channel, they've been Creativescape videos. And uh, this picture and this next one are actual. Well, not this one. Um, this picture is actually from a video called How to Get a Nice Start on Creativescape, and I always see that that's funny because that's actually my second most viewed video, and when I made that video, it was supposed to be like a very small video that gets 500 views, and um, it was really just kind of like a helpful video, and for some reason it has like 20k views or something crazy like that, so um, you never really, I never really expected that. And then we have another picture of these stats. This was on my first episode, so I think I did advance a little bit further, but smithing was... was I remember smithing was my kryptonite. I, I believe that was one of the last ones I had left. But, uh, yeah, very fun server. I had a lot of friends that played it as well. I think that's really what made this server so enjoyable for me was um, having friends that played it as well. Number six, JCscape. Now, JCscape is another one of those servers that went through many different changes. I had a hard time finding pictures, but there are actually some YouTube videos. You can check them out. I'm not entirely sure if any of these videos are the version that I played. Um, but JCscape was really interesting server because at the time, there were a lot of servers like this where it was just the same format. It was Bounty Hunter and it was random pvp loots this was back in 2008 and 2009 when random pvp loots was pretty much all runescape had so it was a, a you know pretty popular thing on this server uh, one of my favorite things about this was all the gear was really easily obtainable except for um some of the rare items you could just go in there you could kill somebody and uh, you just get a pair of dragon claws and it was just such a great feeling to get that random pair of claws or AGS or something like that and I remember getting a few pairs of claws and another thing that really stood out about this server was the fact that it was so laggy this server was one of the laggiest servers I've ever played in my life and um, it had around 200 players at the time and I don't think they had a VPS or anything like that I think the guy just ran it from his own personal computer and you could you could tell because of the lag and even though it was lagging so crazy and this is a PK server so lag is obviously a big issue it still had so many dang players there was still so many people playing this game um, a later version of the server came out and it was sort of instead of being based around bounty hunter it was based around clan wars and that was also very fun because clan wars is obviously this little you know safe spot in the middle of the wilderness and uh, i'll just say there was a lot of luring me and a couple friends would uh, lure a lot of people people would stand there and try to trade we would trade them and then run out into the wilderness so whenever they clicked you know um, whenever it says like Jamie was it wishes to trade you whenever they click that they would run out into the wilderness and ZGS was actually like the best weapon in that game because if you barrage someone there was like a delay it wouldn't immediately freeze them but ZGS would immediately freeze them so we would immediately freeze them and then just claw them out and you would have like these battles it was it was kind of like it's I mean it's basically just clan wars on ICOV it was like that on on Zamrock I believe it's like that I'm not entirely sure um and there was these, these massive battles at clan wars and it was so much fun and the the random PvP loots is really what made it interesting for me number five Delta Escape. Now, Delta Escape is a server I consider really dear to my heart. This is where we really get to the top tier servers. So, Delta Escape was the first massive server I'd ever played. I had played a lot of servers that had around 20 or 30 people, and um, I believe this was before JC Escape, so I don't include JC Escape. But uh, Delta Escape was essentially the ICOV or the Soul Split of 2008, 2009, 2010. And, um, 
one of my favorite things about it was the economy. Most private servers, you get an AGS when you log in. You can just type in, give me an AGS, and you got one. On this server, it was, you know, almost like RuneScape, where if you got, like, a Rune Dagger or something like that, you got a, you know, a Rune Medium Helmet, that was actually a good loot, and you looted it. And the PKing on here was awesome, because if you PKed someone in Rune, you were actually, like, pumped about it. And, um, this was my account owned one. This is actually pictures, my, my own personal pictures I got from... Um, my photo bucket, I believe, is where I got these from. And, uh, this is me finishing the last quest right here. Also got some other pictures of my bank. You also look at some of the other ways some of these items look, like the Rune Defender, for example. I don't know if it's in any of my pictures. It is, yes, the seeds! The seeds are the Dragon Fool Helms. I don't know if any of you guys remember that. That was, uh, such a good memory, the, the Dragon Fool Helm seeds. A lot of private servers back in the day used to have that, because... I don't know, I guess it was something to do with taking the the models from RuneScape, but yeah, yeah there's a picture of my bank, you can try to kind of look around what stats I had, and keep in mind, all this stuff is really good, This it's almost like if you would have had it on, you know, actual RuneScape, and look at the bolts too, this is before crossbows were really um, coming into their own, so this was a really fun server. Had a lot of good memories on it, uh, great PKing server, and it's sort of like the staple of, of private servers when I was thinking when I was when I'm always thinking about private servers I always kind of revert back to Delta Scape days um, just because of Delta Scape kind of I, I feel like Delta Scape were sort of like set up map it sort of set a precedence precedent for what servers should be and um, you know when you look at Ruse or any of those other really highly leached servers Delta Scape was another one of those it was very simple and a lot of people took it and I wouldn't really say that they, they use it as, as a, like a leech or anything like that but it, it became a source but if you went on Rune server or Scythe you would find sources called Delta, and it was like its own type of, of source, and um, they were so easy to code, so almost everyone had one, and the first server I mentioned in this, RS Rev, was a Delta Scape Leech. Number four, Icuff. So yep, you guys knew Icuff was going to be on the list. I imagine most of you are surprised that it's only number four. Um, these next four right here, they're really kind of close, so number four, Icuff, could have been number one easily. There, there's not too much of a difference between these and the next ones I'm going to announce, but yes, Icuff, um really kind of holds a special place because it really sort of made me as a YouTuber. I've been doing YouTube for around three years, probably more if you include my first channel and soul split is really where i got started that's where i kind of made a name for myself but my channel was around two thousand subscribers and uh, everything was pretty consistent I, i'm not complaining or anything like that but i kind of when i started playing i kind of, that really sort of i just my channel blew up i gained so many different subs my view, my views went up my likes went up i kind of really made me as a youtuber without i kind of, i'm nothing which is kind of why we're at like this terrible position right now but Icov was such an awesome server. When it when people first started talking about it, I actually didn't want to play it because people always like they would they would say, "Oh, Soul Split sucks. You should play Icov. Icov's the new Soul Split stuff like that." And I was still playing Soul Split at the time, so I was like, "You know what? I don't really you know I don't really like that talk." But I gave it a chance. I did a server shenanigan. This actual steal is from my first server shenanigan video, um, and uh, I played the server you know like almost nonstop until the day it closed. So we have so many fun memories to talk about on iCov. I think this is really where John and I became good friends. John and I knew each other back in the Soul Split days, and we played some some of my own personal servers together, but I think really on iCov is where we really, you know, grew that bond and became good friends. Um, and another thing about iCov is there were so many different things to do with that server. You were never bored. You could stake, you could gamble, I mean, you could flower, you could dice, you could PK, you could boss, you could do everything. And, um, it was all so much fun. Here we have ourselves winning a nice one bill stake. Um, not to mention this, uh, nice and powerful green party hat win, which, um, all these are from my videos, so if you guys want to ever take a look at this server, you can just go on my channel, just search Jamie and Ikov, and all the videos will come up, and then here is the last video I ever made was gains. So, yeah, I really, you know, enjoy all my time spent on Ikov. It was a great server. I still, to this day, wish it would come back up. The second Icov is back, I'll probably be on it making videos again. There's just so many good memories to count from. The Pugs Just Want to Have Fun series is the best series on my YouTube channel, hands down. There's not even a close second. Um, if you look at that that series, every video has two, 3K views. Um, the likes are amazing on it, 60, 70 for almost each video. It's just insane. And I did it with John, and John and I had such a blast on that series. Such a great server, but it is only number four. Number three, 
Ballscape. So I know what you're thinking, what the hell is Ballscape? So Ballscape is another one of those old servers. This server was run around 2010-ish, I believe, 20, 2009, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, it was so much fun. So when I started playing this server, one of the things that really caught my attention was the whips. So if you guys know me and if you've played any of my servers, you know that I'm a huge fan of colored whips. This server was one of the first servers I'd seen that had them. They had the rune whip, the dragon whip, and all of that. And they had this monster that was pretty easy to kill. It was a group boss. You always had a bunch of people there just chilling, and it dropped dragon whips and rune whips and all of that. And the server was just so much fun. I um, I would consider this the first server that I really like tried to max out on. This was kind of like Soul Split back in the day. Like a lot of people played it. It had around 50 people. It was good for PKing. It was good for skilling. Uh, when I joined, I sort of didn't know what I wanted to do, and I really didn't really like the server, so I went to Cam uh, Catherby. This was like an hour into playing the game. The owner was doing a massive draw party. Everyone was flipping out. Everyone was going crazy. He drops a blue party hat like right underneath me, and uh, I just somehow luckily got it. And it was, I think, like one of the first blue party hats in game. There was only a few in game at that point. And uh, everyone was trying to buy it from me. And for some reason, I kept it. I don't really like blue as a color. But I just sort of kept it, and almost the entire time I played the game, I always had it. I never sold it or anything like that. And then I um, also was a big fan of the high scores on here. This is a picture I had on my um, photo bucket again. I was rank one in runecrafting. And if you look at the level, it's 78. This is like a couple, you know, weeks into the server being released, so... Most other stats were 99s, but runecrafting was one of the hardest ones to train, and I figured since, you know, I wanted to be on the high scores, I figured runecrafting would be the way to go, so I spent a lot of my early time playing runecrafting. I uh, was really big on the high scores. This is the only picture I have, so I can't really show you that, and then this is a, a setup. I really like the way all the items looked in this. This was uh, all stuff you could PK as well. If you PK at someone, you got Void. If you actually look on YouTube right now, there's a couple PK videos I've been looking at right now try to get some pictures of, and um, it was a really fun server. You could do everything on it uh, again a lot of these top servers you you really could do everything on them uh, it seems like a lot of servers nowadays you can either pk you can either boss you can either gamble you can either skill on a lot of these servers higher up on these lists you could do everything on them and ballscape was another server like that so i know a lot of you guys don't know about it but for me it was one of my favorite servers number two soul split so Yes, Soul Split did not make number one. I'm sure most of you thought Soul Split would be number one. I personally thought Soul Split would be number one, but after you know doing a whole lot of consideration, I decided to make it number two. Now keep in mind, number two, number one, they're essentially the same. Might as well call this one number two. But Soul Split plays a massive role in my YouTube channel and just like sort of my life in these last couple of years. Um, I started doing YouTube because of Soul Split. Uh, before I started playing SoulSplit, I played Battlescape, and um, Legend had, came, had just recently come out, and a lot of people were talking about it, and I was like, you know what, that sounds really cool. Um, I wanted to try to be one of like, the first, to, you know, Legends to max out, so I joined the server, and I had a um, achievement log on the forums. I originally started on the, on the forums. I had this little achievement log, and I posted it, my daily progress. Here is my actual account creation because of that log. Luckily, I saved it, so... Uh, yeah, and then um, after you know a couple days of just doing the log, people convinced me to maybe check out YouTube. I had a microphone, so I figured, why not? Let's do it. And uh, yeah, it just sort of spun off from there. Uh, my first channel was pretty much 100% Soul Split. Um, this channel that you guys are watching, a lot of my early videos, I don't know if you guys have ever even seen them. Most of them still have like 300 views. Um, it's all Soul Split stuff. Uh, Soul Split is probably going to go down as one of the best private servers ever. Um, it really just it, it changed the game completely if i mean if you look towards the end of it when it was social with two pim had like a company <laughs> he had like employees and um it just it, it no one ever thought the private service could be that big and social split just changed the game and uh oh man the people on it man oh so many great people have been, have played social split so many of my great friends john played it that's where i met him um we have this nice little picture right here of this guy trying to Try to try to scam me. I said yes, hoping he would reply back, but he never did. Admins here. Admin, I always I always laugh at that. Um, here's a picture of 
us doing next so i was a member of a clan called we are legends and that's really where a lot of the fun came from that's i'm, I'm pretty sure john was in the clan as well i believe don't quote me on that though and we went to next we did all sorts of bossing and it was so much fun this i mean like i was i don't, I don't really consider myself that much of a bosser um you know john and i do a fair bit here and there but i did so much back in the day way more than i ever have and uh, we would just sit at next for hours and i just remember when you get a loot oh such a great feeling so here's a here's one of our loots. I, we've gotten tons of loots that I just don't have pictures of, so keep that in mind. But uh, here's a split we got on a Virtus mask. Here is one. Of, I think this is my first loot ever by myself was a tour of a full home, and I was with people in the clan, but we agreed beforehand that we weren't splitting. So yeah, that was a nice uh, little tour of a full home right there. Um, here's another loot with uh, a Virtus Raptor. You can also see that I'm a helper. This is the first. Well, this is not really the first server I've been staff on. I was on staff on other servers, but I guess this was probably you know one of the bigger servers I've been staff on. Um, I, I did enjoy my time a little bit, but being a helper on Soul Split was rough because when we got promoted to helper, they recently like demoted everybody and they like they were starting fresh. And uh, it was just me and a couple other people, and we really had no control. We had no powers, and it was chaos. <laughs> but I always prided on my, myself on replying back to everybody. If anybody asked me for any questions, I would personally reply back. And uh, I think, you know, I, I really enjoyed my time as a helper, even though it sucked. But, uh, you know, it's nice to have the little the blue marshmallow next to your name. Here is a picture you guys might know. This is the, um, the, uh, the thumbnail for my first channel. JMO fat. If you guys were subscribed to that, this was the actual picture I took, and then I like cropped it out and everything. So that's pretty cool right there. This is not <laughs> Soul Split. We'll go back to this one. So yeah, Soul Split is. It was great. It was amazing. Soul Split Two wasn't as good, but Soul Split One was, you know, was super awesome. I think that's probably why it's number two on this list is just because Soul Split Two happened, and then Soul Spawn happened, and then Torva happened, and yeah. Number one, PK Otter. So yes, the moment you've been waiting for, PK Otter. And this might be a surprise to you guys because I've never actually played PK Otter on a video. Um, this server is a server I played back when I was, um, I believe I was a freshman or sophomore in high school. I don't really remember. And um, this server was one of my favorite servers ever. I, I met so many amazing people in this. Uh, this is the first server where I actually became like a staff member and... Um, I, I, it was pretty popular. It's still pretty popular today. PK Honor is still out, so you can go play it right now. But um, it was a it was a big server, and I was the first server I ever became staff on. And um, just throughout the entire process of playing it, I had so much fun with people. Um, I've never admitted this before, but I'll admit it now. The only reason I ever played PK Honor was because I could dupe on it. I watched a YouTube video on how to dupe, and PK Honor was the first server that I could actually dupe on. Um, so I duped a fair bit early on. And uh, after a while of playing it, like, legitimate, because they fixed the dupes, I, you know, I kind of liked the server. And um, I saw somebody got promoted to helper, and I figured, you know what, I could probably do better than him. So I sort of started helping, and I became, you know, a good player. And, uh, yeah, it happened for me. But <laughs> because it was just such a great server. Let's look at some other pictures. So for the first one, we have, you know, this nice, powerful Armadillo Hilt. When I think of Pika, most of my memories include me either being a staff member or me doing Armadillo. Uh, me and a couple friends on the server, we would just spend hours at Armadillo. This server had loot share, you can probably see in the little bottom there. Uh, one of the interesting things about their loot share was the fact that it actually, like, shared the loot. Like, you would, um, you would take turns. So let's say, for example, me and John. John didn't play the server, but I'm just going to use him as an example. John and I were doing this. I would get a loot, he would get a loot, I would get a loot, he would get a loot, I would get a loot, he would get a loot. It would never change like that. If there's someone else in our thing, you would add them to the rotation, but... Uh, it was fun because you would go through, you'd kill Armadillo, you'd just sit here all day with your bruise, and uh, I would get a hill, and then you're like, yeah, and then somebody else would be like, okay, now it's my turn, and then they get boot, or they get like a helmet, and they're like, oh, boo, and then it's another person's turn, and it was always like that, it was so fun to see that, and the loots were actually really common, um, I talked about for Dark Asylum how I wanted to make the loots pretty common, they were very nice on here, it wasn't too common, and it wasn't too rare, it was perfect, if you went there for a couple hours, your team was going to get some loots. So here's another picture of my bank. This is this is uh this isn't the dupe stuff. This is actual stuff. And these are one bill tickets. That's four bill right there. Um, here's a picture of a good friend of mine, Twix215. Um, I, I want to give a couple shout outs. I don't know if uh, I know Twix actually um, reached out to me on iCov, so he does he might still watch these videos. But uh, shout outs to Twix215. I want to shout out to Ronnie. Rhonda, my good friend. I don't. I don't. I haven't seen him in ages. Um, Casey. He also went by Oldest Knight. He was an admin on that server for a long time. Um, the owner of it, Hamade Mohammed. Uh, he was a good friend. I just met so many great people playing that server. 
Uh, so then here's another little screenshot of us. This was the help center. Whenever you went to help, you would do colon colon help, and it would bring you here, and then we would help you. Um, and you could see us just standing here waiting to help people. Just anybody came, we would help them. And this server was actually pretty popular. It had around, you know, 200 players or so, so you'd have people come in every once in a while. And you can see this is me playing 275 hours. This is before I was a helper, too, so you got to keep that in mind. Um, here we have a nice and powerful uh, Corporal Beast. You can also look at my inventory to see the loot. So again, on this server, you actually got loots if you went to bossing. That's one of my favorite things about it. And at this point, I was a uh, I was a helper. This was uh, this server had uh, two different types of mods. It had help mods and then PVP mods. Help mods were just help people who helped people, and then PVP mods handled sort of like punishments and PVP related things. Um, here's the high scores. I was ranked one. I was ranked one by a hard, huge, huge number. <laughs> if you look up there, um, this is a. Uh, a staff meeting. One of the favorite things about staff on the server was it actually felt like a crazy, like it was something I never experienced before in my life. I've never, on Soul Split when I was a helper, it was nothing like this. We would, um, every Saturday I believe it was, we would get together, we would talk about things, um, we would also promote on Saturdays, and here's me actually shouting out Oldest Knight and Twix. Oldest Knight uh, went on to become an, an admin and like a co-owner, I believe, so that's pretty cool to see. Uh, we would just, uh, we would just send the owner x -Mage like our, our, our picks and both of those people ended up becoming helpers I really like the staff system on the server I really wanted to incorporate it um, on all of my servers but it just never really worked out but uh, they had such an amazing staff system and, and team and everything like that you can also see some of the other people that were staff on that server Ninfo was a good 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 friend of mine he became a head moderator before me and he was he was great he was a very cool person um, and then we have uh, me as head moderator I have finally made it to head moderator after a little while I think that's the highest position I ever got. I was offered admin, but that was sort of towards the end of my run on this server. And uh, yeah, I didn't play it that much anymore. And then you also see uh, Twix did make helper, or help moderator. So now the picture of Headmon. You can also look at my bank. And again, I wasn't duping at this point, so you don't have to worry about that. 22 bill had 4p heads. I did a lot of staking. I did, um, if you're wondering where I got the money from, I was a big staker on this server. As evidenced by this next picture. Bam. So, um,. You're probably wondering what happened with PK Hunter. Why are you not playing it today? Um, you know, there was a lot of uh, a lot of rough stuff that happened towards the end. Um, so for one, I kind of got bored of the game. That, you know, that always happens. But um, when I was quitting, uh, I, the main reason I quit is there was a player in the game. I don't remember his name, but uh, we were staking for accounts. I had a pure account that was pretty much maxed out, and um, I staked it to him, and I lost, and I gave him the account. And, um, you know, a couple of days later, I staked him again for the account, and I won, but he did not give me the information. Staking accounts was, um, it wasn't against the rules, but there was no policing yet. So even though I was a head moderator, I couldn't really punish him for it, but he straight up scammed me. And he was one of the richest players, to, um, you know, later on after this. And, um... The staff, uh, the staff, the owner of the server actually gave him staff. He gave him a moderator spot if he gave up his bank. So he essentially bought staff. So even after he scammed me and he did all that bullshit, he was basically given a staff position just if he cleared out his bank. So I strongly disagreed against that. And since I was already getting kind of bored of the server, that sort of, um, you know, left me to, to quit. I, uh, and so I denied uh, the admin and I resigned. Um, head moderator was on my account, and head moderator was like a special rank. It was kind of tricky to work with, so um, I had to add my account, and I'll show you. I'll show you that picture from before. So I was the number one on the high scores. I had a, a twenty bill bank. I had party hats and everything. In order to get the name off of, or to get the rank off my account, they essentially had to give the new guy. I remember his name was Chewbacca. They had to give him my account, so they basically just changed his name, Chewbacca, or they changed my name from JMO to Chewbacca, and then gave me a random account. And they gave him my stats, they gave him my money, and they kind of just said "fuck you" to me. They didn't give me my account back or my stats or anything like that. So that was one of the reasons why I've quit. Um, I've tried to, you know, contact them a couple times to see if I can maybe, you know, make something happen. But um, it's kind of done. You know, PK Hunter is in the past. I'm probably never going to play it again. But I had so many, you know, fun memories on this server. Their staff system, like, was so just, it was so good. I think they had the best staff team on any server I've ever seen in my life. And I, a lot of those people I still miss to this day. So I want to give a massive shout out to everybody who played it. If you guys played it, you know, if you played it back in the day, then you know what I'm talking about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this list. I know it probably doesn't sit right with most of you considering Soulspit wasn't one and ICOV was only number four. But again, this is my own personal list. These are servers that I enjoyed. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.